Many of America's largest retailers, including Amazon, now plan to stop selling all paint stripping products containing a deadly chemical we've reported on throughout the year. An advocacy group claims at least 64 people have died since 1980 from exposure to paint strippers containing methylene chloride. The EPA proposed banning the chemical in 2017, but so far that proposal has gone nowhere. We told you in January about a new safer formula in development. A new product is expected to be on the market in the U.S. soon. Anna Werner has been investigating this story all year long. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Tony. Well, we've reported how three young men died while using these products since April of 2017. The EPA still has not taken action, and yet another mother who lost a son says she won't stop pushing until the agency does. He had a smile that lit the sky. He was very generous. He was very kind-hearted. This Christmas wasn't the same for Lauren Atkins. Joshua's story needs to be told. Last February, her 31-year-old son Joshua died while using paint stripper in a bathroom to refinish the fork from his BMX bike. It's when I went up and knocked on the door and he didn't respond. So I opened the door and I found it. And he was gone. Had been gone for several hours. When you learned that there were other mothers with sons, I was heartbroken because none of these deaths needed to occur. All of these were preventable. Joshua Atkins joined victims Kevin Hartley and Drew Wynn, who both died in 2017. All young men who lost their lives using these common strippers containing methylene chloride. There's no need for this to be on shelves. The chemical is so dangerous, EPA's own scientists decided it should be banned for all consumer and most professional uses, saying it posed an unreasonable risk. But that was a year ago, and still no action from the EPA. So Atkins and the other mothers plan to sue the EPA next month. I continue to fight for the ban. I continue to speak out, and we've banded together. And we're going to continue to be together until our voices are heard and until this is off the shelf. The Environmental Defense Fund's Richard Dennison says those deaths were avoidable and the EPA must do more. It can't cut corners. It can't start creating loopholes that allow the industry to escape the intent of this rule, which is to ban these uses and protect consumers as well as workers. We are concerned that one corner they might cut is to try to exempt from this ban commercial uses of these chemicals. But some aren't waiting for the government to act. In January, we showed you how scientists at the University of Massachusetts Toxics Use Reduction Institute developed an alternative they say is safer and works just as well. Research manager Greg Morose showed us. We've got two red latex top coats. On a test board painted with several coats and baked at high temperatures to simulate real life conditions, he demonstrated the team's new solvent. It worked. It worked. And now a Canadian company has announced it's producing a new product using that alternative formulation. The goal is to have it available in every major um, hardware and paint retail chain in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. We feel it's a great option to have on the shelves for every retailer. In addition, major chains, including Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, and online retailer Amazon now say they will begin phasing out methylene chloride-based strippers by year's end. The changes should save lives, even if they come too late for Joshua Atkins. You know, we have three mothers, and when you mess with our kids, you're in trouble. The primary manufacturer of the strippers with methylene chloride has been critical of the researchers' new alternative in the past. They point out it is flammable and they say it too is toxic. The researchers say the solvents in their formulation, however, don't quote, quote cause immediate death from high exposures like methylene chloride can, and that alone, they say, makes the new product much less hazardous. That product, by the way, is expected to hit store shelves here in the U.S. Any day, they say it's ready for distribution. It seems insane that people have ruled already that this should not be on store shelves and that it still is. All right, that's the EPA's own scientists saying The EPA that. says it's a problem, it should be banned, but the EPA hasn't taken action. Correct. So a lot of these environmental groups, along with the mothers, are preparing to file suit against the EPA in January to make that happen.
Anna Werner, thank you so much.